Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where we're going to answer a standardized math test question today where we are going to identify the surface area using a net. A gift box is in the shape of a right triangular prism. The net of the gift box is shown. Which of the following expressions represents the total surface area in square inches of the gift box? So we first need to identify that we have this prism and it's got five faces three rectangular faces, and each rectangular fa face is found by doing area equals base times height. And then we have two triangular faces, which are found using the formula for a triangle. Area is one half base times height. So I strongly encourage my students to use whatever mathematical reference sheet that they are provided when they take a standardized test and look at the formulas and fill them in. So we always start with, I call it the naked formula, start with what you know and fill in what you need. So here we go. We have a rectangle that is five by four. So four times five, and then this one is the same. And then over here we have four, see this length is four, so each one of these is four, and then we have a four by six, and we have a four by five. Then we're gonna go identify the triangle, and we see that it's one half, and our height, and our base, so four by six. Height of four, base of six. And that other triangle is identical. So now we need to go look at our answer choices, and when I do so, I look at these triangles right here and they say four by four. So I'm already identifying that our two triangles are one half times four by six. So I know it can't be that answer. It could be B and it cannot be C because these are four by five. So they've identified their base and height incorrectly. This is clearly mark six and a height is always perpendicular to a base. So four and six. All right, now let's look at the next two because both of these, B and D, have their triangles correct. One half, four times six, one half, four times six, and the same down here. So now we're looking for four by five, four by six, and four by five. Two four by fives and a four by six. So it looks like B, but let's look at D for sure. They have one four by five rectangle and two four by six. And clearly these two rectangles are four by five. So I'm verifying everything. I know it cannot be D because of that. And our answer choice is B. Our five faces and all five areas.